Mariah Carey's team says New Year's Rockin' Eve performance was sabotaged. Representatives for Mariah Carey reportedly complained that the Divas troubled performance on Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest was set up by the show's producers so they could get Mariah drama. TMZ reported Sunday that the 46-year-old Carey's team claimed in a written complaint to Dick Clark Productions that her sound and microphone systems were deliberately sabotaged. The report said that Carey and her team repeatedly complained that her earpieces were not working. Carey's mood seemed to range from frustration to resignation as she struggled with the pre-recorded musical tracks. Telling the revelers jammed into New York City's Times Square that there had not been a sound check for her hit song Emotions, she lamented that we're missing some of these vocals, but it is what it is. Let the audience sing, she decided as she paced the stage. I'm trying to be a good sport here, she said, adding her own sarcastic review of the performance. That was amazing. The next song, We Belong Together, went no better. At times, she lowered the microphone from her mouth and the music, vocals and all, kept playing, making it clear she was lip-syncing. Unfortunately there was nothing she could do to continue with the performance given the circumstances, Carrie spokeswoman Nicole Perna said Sunday. Dick Clark production sources told TMZ that Carrie should have been able to hear the music even without an earpiece and added that it was the singer's decision not to do a pre-performance sound check. Kerry later tweeted about the night, starting with a brief profanity, throwing in a couple of sad images and concluding with, here's to making more headlines in 2017. The performance was broadcast on ABC and was subject to widespread mockery on social media. Commentators called the fiasco a fitting end to a traumatic year for the music industry, marked by the deaths of Prince. David Bowie and George Michael among others. One tweeter, referring to the 2016 presidential campaign, joked that Kerry's show had been hacked by the Russians.